Tick Tuck, A Tale for Two. I click at the start. Click. Oh, uh, you can't go solo. Thanks. Nice. No, no cheating. Click, drag, spin, use the mouse wheel to explore the world. The coin through an online chat. We recommend you use Discord. Do you want to be it's player also... one or player two? <laughs> um, I'll be player. Well, do you have a preference? No. I'll be player one. Okay. Make sure your team member is player two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna click start playing, but how yeah, does it know, know that you're my player too? Say you and your friend received two strange packages, each contained an old clock. Three twelve. Oh, dear player one. This clock is part of the game. A gift I made for my sister. Oh. Play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. Oh, hey. so I guess we don't need to connect to each other. Oh. We just need someone to feed us the information. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Don't read out loud because I I have different stuff on my screen and it could. I know. Me. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. No. I mean, it's not a secret what we both. Have. I don't know, but it's like confusing. Oh, right. okay. Okay, wait. Let me. I need some volume options. Just, just to. There we go. Oh. Okay. I hear Sims in the background. Sims. Blark blark, blarky blark bleak. I don't hear any of that. Gomo and snada. <laughs> Okay, so I have I'm looking at a desk and I can only scroll up and down this Me desk. Too. I got a clock, I got an eraser, I got a letter that tells me that the clock is part of a game. A gift I made for my sister, have a fighting chance, play with a friend. Okay. They really miss their sister, so tell her Oh, I clicked off the game. There we go. Tell her that we miss her. Then I also have a box. With a piece of newspaper in it and a pocket watch. Me too. My paper says something different. The little letter that you have? Yeah. What's your letter say? It says, Dear Player 2, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Um, a molly? Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait. Yeah. My letter's from the same person. Wind the clocks up. I can spin the little thingy at the top of the clock, but it does nothing. I can also physically change the hands on the clock. Oh. Okay. So, my little piece of paper in the box... Uh-huh. It's... Well, at the top it says Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. And then... Mm -hmm. There's this little snippet that says, understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. And then, next to it, it says, contact. If you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. Police? Well, uh, I have what appears to be, like, the left side, because the, well, the left side of something. Because the top, like, display name says another disappearance stry oh I, I have a... uh, yeah I have the other side yeah mine says Ks, our village <laughs> <laughs> nice all right so mine is by so the article is by dr uh, I'm sorry by Mark D Hansen of Hillbeck press it says the youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family lark was reported missing yesterday her sister um, Amelie <laughs> told us she had seen her at 10.30. And then you're saying that she corrected it and it was actually, what, an hour earlier? An hour and a half later. 
an hour and a half later than 10.30. So I'm going to move the pocket watch to midnight. Oh, things are happening. Things are happening. Yeah, hold on. Chapter 1 is copy and made of the world that Lark and I used to know. 20... Wait a minute. Oh. 1927. I'm in a different area now. What? I'm no longer looking at a desk. So do you have a pocket watch on your thing? Yeah. Uh, change that to midnight and then spin the top. Oh. I didn't know you had to spin the top. Yeah. And then I'll give you a second. Ooh. Well, this is the thing. Um, all right. Holy Are you looking crap. at like a Are you looking at like a bus stop or a yeah. train stop? Yeah. So, I've got a board and it's got like a little a little choo choo in the lower left hand corner of it. And I have every button except the right button. <laughs> the right button? So I have an up, down, left, and then there's a big hole where I'm assuming the right one would be. Yeah. Like the I have, arrow pointing to the right. I have the same. So you have the same arrows? Yeah. So if I were to. Does your train move if I move mine? Uh, if you did, mine didn't. Okay, I'm resetting. Because. Incidentally, only the up works. Well, it is in the lower left-hand corner, so that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna take the screen and spin it to the right. Oh, okay, I saw something I don't want to <laughs> deal with. Okay. What are you looking at? Well, I'm looking at a house. I didn't see nothing. No, because I went further. Oh. Oh, okay. I also see a house. A lovely cottage. Oh, I clicked on the cottage and now I zoom forward. Ooh, there's a... Oh. Oh, I went inside the house, did you? Me too, yeah. Are we looking at the same thing? I don't know. Do you have a light bulb? No. Okay, so I clicked my light bulb and then a moth is now trying to make love to it. And, um, it fluttered a bunch of words onto the screen. Well, oh. I, I don't like mine, because mine is a jack-in-the-box that I have to crank. Crank it. Alright. Oh, crap. I'm not gonna remember this. Nothing's oh, the happening. noise. Okay, so when I messed with the two things that were on my screen, so the light, the very loud light bulb and the very loud train, oh, okay. um, a bunch of words popped up. It says, uh, Lark, I hope you like your present, which is probably your jack-in-the-box. It says, turn it anti-clockwise three times, clockwise twice, anti-clockwise tr twice, and then keep turning it clockwise. So, I assume you've got some sort of handle? Yeah, okay, say that again, like do one part at a time. Okay, so the first one is counterclockwise three times. Okay. Then clockwise one, twice. Oh, sorry. Two, three. Oh, hi. Thank oh. you. <laughs> oh, yay! You have food? That's not fair. I want food. <laughs> What'd you get? Chinese food. Oh, you guys are no fair. <laughs> okay, so I did it three times counterclockwise. And then you didn't let go, right? Well, there's like a little clicker. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, tr try clockwise twice. One, two, okay. And then counterclockwise twice. Okay. Then keep turning it clockwise and do not let go, is what it says.
Okay, I guess I messed up. <laughs> you probably can't, like, unclick yeah, off I, of it. I thought I could. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so the first one is counterclockwise three times. One, two, three. Then it's clockwise twice. Okay. Then counterclockwise twice. Okay. Then just keep turning it clockwise. Oh god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's spraying out. Yeah. Ew, it's creepy, it's a clown. Uh well yeah, that's typically what are in Jack in the Boxes. I got half of a ticket. Oh man. I think. I can I can't Oh no. Okay. I see what's gonna happen. It pretty much tells me like the first half of where the train has to go. Mm-hmm. So I guess you'll find the other half? Potentially. Or maybe... I don't know. I'd ha probably have to tell you. Anyway. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to deal with that either. So I left the house. There's nothing else in that house for me that I saw. Yeah, I can't take the ticket, so I'll just leave it here, I guess. Okay. Um, all right, let's spin it once to the right again. I'm not a big fan of what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's what I saw. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to click it. Me either. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll go I'm first. Clicking it. Uh. Oh no. Oh. This is not a good idea. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> make it be nervous. <laughs> okay. There's a box at the bottom. Ooh, and noises. I assume we're both looking at a well. Yes. Okay. I'm like, we didn't actually establish that. <laughs> Alright, I have a box with a bunch of different shapes and three buttons and a lever. Yeah, me too. What are the top three shapes for you? They're all circles, but one of them is filled in. Oh, mine are different. My bottom row is square, triangle, and then a filled-in circle. Oh, but if I press the buttons, they change. Oh, oh okay. Oh. So I so I have three that I can't change. I assume you're supposed to change. So the top middle one for me, I can't change. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. the bottom left and right, yeah. So I assume we're supposed to make a match. Yeah. Okay, so my top middle one is a circle that's not filled in. Okay. Okay. Um, the first top one, first left top mm -hmm. one, is mm -hmm. a filled in triangle. Okay, got it. And then the next one is not filled in triangle. <laughs> Mr. Not filled in triangle. <laughs> okay, the bottom left one for me is a not filled in square. Okay. Who's the middle one? Oh, sorry. The middle sorry. one is a not filled in square. <laughs> She's like, I want to eat my Chinese food. Gosh, darn it all. <laughs> all right. The uh, the bottom right one for me is a filled in circle. Okay. You're gonna... I'm going to pull the handle. Ooh, that's loud. It opened. What did I get? Oh, I got a button. For yeah, the train. me too. Yay! Okay, Yay. get me out of this well. I know. <laughs> Let me leave. I'm actually af I'm afraid to leave it. Okay. I don't okay. I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna put the button in before I uh, do the last one. Okay. Okay. So I put the button in. So now I'm gonna go do the last scene. The the Ravens clocks. Hold on. Let me take my food out. <laughs> Okay, I'll just wait here. Actually, I'm gonna wait outside because it was quieter. Okay. Um, clock, 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 clock. There's this white bird that keeps showing up. Oh yeah? It keeps following me. I haven't been observant enough to notice a bird. It's like a white crow, anyway. Opening hours though. 3 to 9. I can't go in the clock place. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm inside. You are? Yeah. 
What the? It says opening hours 3 to 9. So I can't. <laughs> I guess I'm not in the right time. Oh, wait. I'm messing with the radio here. Hold on. Ooh. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No more walking for five miles to get to your letters. It's now March and the... The unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... That's me! Maybe we're just not... I don't understand why you can't get it. Oh, wait. What are the opening hours? Three to nine. I can't adjust that one. It doesn't say AM or PM. I don't know what this thing is. Oh god. How come you can't get in? I'm so confused. You must have to do something. Is there any can way you can change way? time? Oh my god, hold on. Let me, let me change the radio to something that's not horrible white noise. There's a clock here, but I can't, like, interact with it. I'm clicking. Can you drag any part of it? No. There's actually a few clocks here. But this one is so bright, it's got to be the right one. <laughs> and it won't, the left hand won't go up past, like if it would just go up another, like, 20 minutes, it would be, well, it would be 4 o'clock, doesn't make any sense. And then I have a calendar with dates on it. And I can change everything. The year is 1927. I can't change that. But I can change <laughs> the month and the day. Hmm. I don't Wait, know what that is. Can you go near the clock um, by the bus station? Or train station? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can. Can you change we'll wait. it? Right now it says... Mine says four. Mine says two. Wait a minute. Oh crap, I clicked out of the game. <laughs> okay, so what you have to do is spin your screen to the right a few more times. Because that's actually affecting the clock. Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. I know, it's actually a giant clock. Oh. <laughs> I can go in now. Yay. <laughs> The white raven is following me still. Okay. Um, apparently- it says that- well, do you have a radio? Uh, yes. Can you just move it over until words happen? Okay. Woo. Okay. So... I- my first thing mm -hmm. says, last month the police started getting several reports of pets going. Do you have a continuation of that or not? Yeah. Going What's missing. Mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they are all found soon. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh god. Ew! What is that? Yeah, I don't know either. Why is this a thing? Ew, why is it I'm scaring? Like, I'm like, why? Well, if you spin it again, it goes back upstairs. It says, I don't know why that happened. <laughs> it says the oldest raven daughter, Amile, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps, dot, 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 are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. That must be what that thing is. Oh, why a bug, of all things? I don't know. I'm moving to the next one. Yeah. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night, dot dot dot. Wait, I must have missed one. 
to be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. The 18th, okay, I'm gonna remember that. Alright, so we're gonna move it down again. There's another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's dot dot dot. <laughs> Sweet old farm dog. Remember to Aww. lock your doors until this thief has been caught. Aw. <laughs> Alright, the next one. Uh, a strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. Eh, yeah, they're just birds. Alright, no. next one. <laughs> Uh, no more walking for five miles to get to your letters. It's now March, and the... Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't think there's any more. Oh, I got one more. Oh, uh, it says an unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... Raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Oh, how about we hope that the youngest member of the family doesn't go missing? <laughs> so, there is a white raven that I, follows me around. On the, um, the, the town screen. Oh. If I click oh, on it, it flies away. <laughs> you're a goner. Alright, so I picked up March and the 18th from all of that. So I'm just gonna... March 18th, according to my little grid. Like, I scrolled up. I don't know if you can scroll up too. Yeah, I can. So, it looks like March 18th is a Wednesday based on our clocks, where the day in the middle of the week is a Wednesday. And it opened. There's, like, some tools in here that I thought I could mess with, but I can't. There's also half of a ticket. Oh, oh I got half. the I got the right half. Yeah. Oh. I can't... Um, how come I can't take it with me? So... We're gonna have to remember. Do you remember? <laughs> I, at the very top of the clock shop, I have, like, a news article. Uh-huh. Um, it's, like, half of one. It says, News Wednesday edition. In Raven's Clock Shop, you can buy all kinds of clockwork, request commissions, and get your old clock repaired. Today, grand opening of clock shop. A world-renowned clockmaker, Mr. Raven, has opened a new clock shop in our town. He is said to be an interesting care... <laughs> and then... The level of detail is exquisite. Our own queen is said to have a couple of his elegant pieces. Today he is opening his... That's it. I don't have anything. Like, I don't have any newspapers. That's weird. And then there's, like, white feathers on the ground. Ooh, you in trouble, girl. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. I have this... There's, like, this rolled-up thing on the floor. I've clicked it about a million times. Because <laughs> every time I do, it bounces up and down and makes a thudding noise. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to head back to the train. Okay. Oh, get that well out of my face. <laughs> okay, just clicking around, see what's here. So I don't know what the left side of the ticket looks like. Well, I, I do. I can tell you where to go. Can you please? Yes. So, you're, you're on the beginning square, right? Yes, in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. So you go up twice. Okay. You go right three times. One, two, three. You go down twice. One, two. And then that's where it stops. It looks like it's going to the, um, the right. I guess. To the right? Yeah. Okay, so you do the same thing on your side before I give you my half. Okay, I gotta remember it. <laughs> I can tell you because I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm there. And we're, we're, okay. So you go from where the starting square, you go up twice. Okay. Right three times. Okay. And then down twice. All right. 
Okay, and then we're both... Hold on, let me count to make sure that the distance is the same. One. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we're all going to go right once. Okay. Then we're going to go up three times. Then we're going to go right twice. Up once. And then right once. Oh! <laughs> maybe I memorized that, and maybe I took a picture. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> the train's here! I'm getting on the train. I like this game. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, no. Does yours this... say the same thing mine says? Uh, I don't know. My, I've got to be... Mine says it was getting harder to find animals for my experiments, but I still knew one I could get access to easily. Oh, mine is different. I think you're the younger sister and I'm the older sister. Yeah, like real life. Hey! <laughs> I didn't even think about it that way. <laughs> um, oh mine boy. says I told Lark I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. Oh, I don't know then, because I, I thought either. you were the one that was being followed by a bird. I am, but... <laughs> but that's supposed to be the youngest. Maybe there's another sister we don't know about. Yeah. 1932. Oh. What? This looks familiar. <laughs> oh, that track is closed now, so we gotta make another one? God. And it's raining. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the house again. Okay. And hope nothing attacks me. Oh. Oh, I'm in a looking at a different part of the house. I need two, I think. I'm looking at. Oh, I'm looking at a fire. Oh, I found a secret message. Oh no 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 no! Close that door. That's the basement. <laughs> I ain't going down there. Oh, nope. Okay, wait. This this letter or this message it says, "I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet." Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Amali. Play a secret melody? Ugh, oh, I don't want to be in this rope oh, down here. I have bells that. Oh! Okay, I have bells. <gasps> okay, keep on going, bud. Yep, mm -hmm, there we go. I trapped a salamander. I have to, like, interact with everything to get all the, like, words to come out. Yeah. So I'm just, like, clicking all the things just to make sure I got everything. Um, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Look after it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge to come back and complete it, I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. That's ominous. Um, I don't understand why it said you had to play a melody to open a door. Because I totally just clicked on the door and it opened. No, it's got to open my door. Oh. Oh, because you have bells. Yeah. And under the bells, they usually a different part of the house. Like kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, dining hall. Hmm. Can you Let go to those wait, places? Wait. Okay, so do study, pantry... Uh, dinner. Uh, dinner table. Dining. Dining area. I'm just doing it based on what I read. I'm reading. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, one, two, wait, five. Oh, okay, so, so, like, the first one says, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study, so I assume you hit study once. Okay. And then it says, it... Uh, look after it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. So I assume you hit pantry twice. Oh. Okay. And then it says, in five years, when I gain more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dining table waiting for you. So dining, whatever. It's five years. One, two, three, four, five. It opened! Yay! Yeah! Success! I don't want to go down there. <laughs> Well, my part of the basement's not scary. I caught a salamander. I caught a lizard. What is this? <laughs> oh no, she said it was an experiment. There's just- yeah. okay. So, there's a barrel hanging from the ceiling by a rope. And there's a little oh, hole. No. 
No, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Whatever there is to find has to be on your side because I am like out of things to do. What? Oh! <laughs> oh, I can hit the barrel. I really don't want to. You click things, Dino. Make I it am, happen. I am. I am. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. I'm clicking! Oh god, a pocket watch came out of the barrel. Can you take it with you? Uh... Oh. Do you have anywhere that you can put in a time? Or like, something like that? Not in the house, no. And you can't take it with you? No. Is there a time on it? Well, it keeps spinning in, like, a pattern. Oh. I mean, I've kind of clicked everything. Maybe that watch is used in a different area? Yeah, probably. Because I have nothing here that references It's maybe in the, the clock shop. Maybe. Yeah. Do you want me to just go to the clock shop? Well, we can both go. We can both continue. All right. All right, oh, I'm wait. Out of the house. That's different. What's different? The well isn't there anymore. Oh no! It's now it's not like a music shop. Oh no, the well is gone. <laughs> oh, so disappointed. Oh, get this thing out of my way. I got the little wind-up beetle. Shoo. Oh, I got a bunch of numbers. Wait, where'd you like, go? The clock? I went into the music shop. Okay. Do you want to go to the clock one first? Because no, I was just to... I was just wondering where you went. Oh, I'm I went to the music type Oops. shop. Yeah, and I'm basically just looking. It almost looks like they're um like mailboxes. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the same thing. Does yours say so something? It, it turns out that I can change the little spindle thingies. on the boxes, like the points, I can spin those. Oh, I don't see that. Oh, what are you looking at? It looks like a mailbox. Um, mm -hmm. It has the little horn on top, and then it says, Post Ref Casse. <laughs> it's not- Oh, it, man. It's not an English word, I don't think. Okay. And a lot of these don't seem English. It doesn't seem like rooted in English. Are there um, any numbers anywhere? No. This it mm. feels like I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Yeah. Clicking on All right, everything. Let's, let's check out the um the clock shop and see. Okay. What that looks like. What was that? Oh. Oh crap! Hold on, I gotta. I gotta advance time a little bit. Oh uh, man. Yeah. There we go. Now we're at three. I should be able to get in. Oh no. Um. There's a white raven sitting on the desk. Really? That's my friend. Yeah. It does not do anything when I click on it. It's cawing at me, though. <laughs> uh. Um. Sound breaking. Shut up! <laughs> Greater short lifespan is deeply unfair. I look forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. There's a note on the desk. It says, do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed. Oh. Huh. There is a letter on my desk that had a key in it, and now it's in my inventory. I, oh. Um, there's a key for the clock shop that I also just picked up. A key for the clock shop? Oh! 
There's a picture on the wall of a girl with a white raven. I can't. I'm. I'm I can't move. <laughs> I can't scroll up or down. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me either. There's just a lot on the desk. <laughs> I don't have. I have like tweezers. I got three marbles that I can't do anything with. Oh, I have like a letter with a key in it and a key for the clock shop for some reason. Okay, so I assume that what you need to do is close the shop and then go in with the key. Wait, maybe I can send the letter in that mailbox. Well, maybe. Let's see. Oh, I did. I put it in the mailbox. Oh. What's it say? Anything? Or did you just I, put it in the mailbox? I put it in and then this piece of paper came out. It says post box number 28. 28? Wait a minute. 28. Hold on. I've got boxes with numbers. Okay, 28. And then it says northwest. West, southwest, east. Wait, wait. Northwest. Northwest, west. Can you say that again? Northwest, west, southwest, east. I opened it. Yeah, hey, I got your letter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I got the key. Use your key to the clock shop. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? Is that what the letter said? That's what it no, I didn't. Me. I wasn't able to open it. Do you still have a key? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna close the shop. How do you do that? By spinning the other, the opposite direction, oh, so that it's yeah. like two. Man, I forget. Or one. Crazy. And then I'm gonna use the key to get in. Nice. Let me know when you're in. Listen, bird. I found your bird. Hey, stop hitting my clock. <laughs> Okay. I'm in. Mm. This bird is rude. <laughs> he was nice to me. <laughs> well, he's noisy <laughs> and he keeps hitting the thing I'm trying to look at. <laughs> How rude. Let's see. Okay, so I am looking at what appears to be like an open clock. Okay. Um, it's got like this this gray and white striped circle I can spin. And it's got, like, four of those colored marbles that I can also shift around. Okay, so I have a book about those marbles. They're called gemstones. <laughs> this freaking bird. Okay. <laughs> and, and this then... watch that I'm looking at, the bird keeps tapping it with its beak. <laughs> and then I have freaking another bird. book called Horology: Foral New Methods of Measuring Time. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Accuracy. Through multiple studies, Ms. Shar figured out that a timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz and the channeling plate. What? Okay. I think this sequence will be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing time. Oh, okay. So the tiger's eye. Do you know what gemstones yes. are which? I know what the tiger's eye is. Okay. So the tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Um, quartz... Hmm. Okay. The quartz is like the, the like see-through white one. Oh, okay. Well, it is currently. It's not directly to the left of it, but it's left of it. Yeah, the quartz should be in the channeling plate. In the channel... Okay, I'm gonna assume that's there. Um, there's like a okay. little picture, but I don't know if it's accurate. Um, the malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. Okay. And then the ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay. Um, and then what? Then it goes to balance. For highest precision point, for highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Point it instead towards the malachite stores time better. What the Wait, heck? whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> say all that again. <laughs> so it's on like it's on a different chapter. Chapter five, balance. 
her highest precision point. Her, her highest precision point the balance needle towards the third port. Point it towards instead towards the malachite stores time better. So should I point it at the malachite? I think so. Is there anything else? When everything is set for the optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Once clockwise twice? Yeah, once the lid top has right. closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. Oh my. Is it working? Um, so there's a lot of things for me to mess with. <laughs> Oh, this! Oh, I'm gonna destroy this bird. No, he's my friend. <laughs> no, you. Oh my God, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to clarify, the tiger's eye is to the left of the quartz, which is the clear see-through one, right? The quartz yes. is the clear see-through one, yeah. And the tiger's eye is to the left. Yes. But the the um. The malachite can't be on either side, and it can't. What is? What were its conditions? The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. Okay, and then the ruby. What were the ruby's conditions? The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay, so it's not next to the tiger's eye, and it's actually all the way over to the right. Okay, so what is the next part? This, oh my god, bird, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I just tried to okay. poke it in the eye. <laughs> it didn't work. It says, for highest precision, point the balance needle toward the third quartz. And then there's like, you know, that little star thingy? Um, star thingy. Uh, it's on the keyboard when you shift eight. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta look at the keyboard. Oh, okay, an asterisk, okay. Yeah, that thing, sorry. <laughs> it, it's at the end of the sentence I just said, and it says, point it instead towards the malachite, stores time better. So I assume that's like a note, like a, like a... Oh, it's like, it's like a footnote. Yeah. So wait, so read the part about the quartz again. For highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. The th did you say the third quartz? Yeah. Okay. And then? When everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Okay. So it says top right gear. There's like five potentially six <laughs> gears here and um they're all kind of displayed in a fashion where you wouldn't necessarily consider one on the top right okay uh let me back out of here and come back in i may have like potentially messed it up yeah oh no everything's still in the same spot i left it so it doesn't like have a reset Don't worry though, this bird is still here. <laughs> so wait, like, can you close the lid? No, it's barely even on the screen. Oh. Because we need to leave all this room for this bird! <laughs> who's on the right hand side of my screen! <laughs> so, I assume that this is the needle. Because it's the only thing that I'm looking at that looks like a needle. Wait. Mm -hmm. What does the thing with the gemstones in it look like? It looks like a diamond. Like a cartoon diamond. It's got like it's got like one point at the middle and at the bottom. And yeah. then there's four points at the top. Okay, yeah, I and have And then there's lines that connect them. Yeah, I have a picture of that in the book. And I have them in the order of Tiger's Eye, Malachite, Quartz, Ruby. I assume your book is in black and white? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I assumed. There's nothing... Are there any other pictures in that book? I'm hoping. Nope. That's the but. only picture. Um... Oh, okay, so... You pointed the thing at the Malachi, right? I did initially. Pointed the needle at the Malachite. What, uh, place is that in? What place? What do you mean? Uh, from the four points. It's in the second place. Like, the second point. Oh, Jesus, okay. that bird. <laughs> I forgot it was there for half a second, and then its big beak came back down. Oh, okay. I got it. I don't know what I did, oh. but I got it. I, I turned that deer again, and okay, now I'm looking at an actual clock. The bird has not stopped hitting it, by the way. <laughs> so the lid closed? It did, yes. The okay. lid closed. Test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. It was nowhere near 12? It worked. Yeah! Oh, the clock just ate the bird. Are you serious? Well, the bird got sucked into the clock, and quite frankly, that's what it gets. <laughs> <gasps> and the clock is spinning in a pattern. Oh, I have one too. Oh my god, this pattern though. Three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. Hmm. Three, three, six, three, six, six, three. Okay, I remember the pattern. Oh god, okay, let me write mine down. <laughs> um, but I don't know what to correlate that pattern to. Yeah, I don't know either. Who the heck is a pen? Oh, let me write mine down too then. Hold on, <laughs> I need a pen as well. Oh. <laughs> my my brain is old, okay? I don't remember anything. So three, 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 six, three, 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 three. Okay. Um Is your pattern all like two numbers? What do you mean? Like, well, let me know what your pattern is once you, once okay. you have it. It's twelve three twelve 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 three five. Okay, I know what it- I know what they refer to. Oh wait, oh, let me get out of here. Get me out of this basement. Yeah, that's where I was <laughs> <laughs> Is it for like the train thing? I believe so. Okay. We probably have each other's pattern. Oh. Although that doesn't make any sense. Alright, wait a minute, <clears throat> can you say your pattern one more time? 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 5. Oh, wait. The last number is a five. Wait, yours is 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 5? Or yeah. is, am I missing a number? Nope, that's it. Wait, let me double check mine. Because you have less numbers than I do. So oh. I may have an extra number. Should I recheck mine? Yeah, let's both. Okay. So I assume that when it spins like three times, it's a reset. Yeah, that's what I assume too. Three, 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 three. Okay, I have my pattern. Oh, I keep hitting escape like that's gonna do something for me. Yeah, mine's, mine's correct. Okay, um, let me stare. <laughs> At this this train chart for a moment. Is that like? Do you think we have to like spin the clock around to our numbers? Spin the clock. Or oh my goodness! Do you know how much spinning we I have know, to do? I know. I <laughs> know. <laughs> three, 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 
Right up, right, 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 up, down, but you can't go down if you just went up. So if I do, and three is to the, so up. Is your train in the same spot? Uh, where it was before? Like in the lower left hand corner? Yeah. Shit, five is such a- are you sure it's five and not six? I'm pretty sure. I'll check again. You're right, it's six. I'm sorry. That's alright. That's- I'm, I'm like, man, that's really- so three is- one, two, three. Um, down, left. Okay, I've got the pattern. Oh god, how'd you do that? <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> okay, so if we do your pattern first, mm -hmm. yours is 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6. So if you refer, I mean, I mean they're numbers, but if you <laughs> refer to them as directions, it's up, right, up, 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 right, down, right, right. Oh, no, wait, that's mine. So it's it's up, right, up, 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 right, down. How did you get that? Because the 12 is at the top of the clock, the 3 is the right of the clock, and the 6 is the very bottom of the clock. Oh. So, 12 means up, because that's the top. Oh, it points up. The okay. needles point up. And then 3 points to the right. Okay. So, that's, that's your half. I assume your half is first. Yeah. Because mine has downs in it, and you can't go down because we're already at the bottom. Yeah. So do you, are you doing your half, or do you want, like, some direction? I already or? did it. Oh, okay. So, do you want me to just tell you the direction of mine, and not bother with the, the threes and the sixes? Yeah, <laughs> that would probably be the, for the best. <laughs> so, from where you left off, it's right, right, right. Yeah. Down. Okay. Right. Okay. Down, down. And then right. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm glad I have pencil, uh, a pen and some paper. <laughs> on the train! Oh, that's right, I gotta get on the train. I'm like, I'm like, nothing's happening! <laughs> Stupid game. What does your thing say? Uh, it was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now oh. I had to learn how to do the same with people. Oh. This is taking a dark turn. Oh, no. Mine says, <laughs> I knew Lark wouldn't wait, wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. Oh, interesting. Okay. Alright, I'm clicking next. We're moving forward in time. Okay. Oh! Alright. Ah, oh, the tracks close again after all that hard work. All right, so hold on a second. I'm going to start dinner. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back.